everybody sitting here and I'm listening to the gentlemen and them and it is so amazing to hear, you know, how much they have been sacrificing for the family and but I want to say that, Cora, you might have to help me out here because <laughs> when you're a single mother like me, everything both of us speak about, I do that, and I sleep, mm. and I work. Every single thing you all do, I have to do that alone. And I have gotten so accustomed doing it that everything I do, I have to write on pen and paper so that I won't forget to wash your clothes that I won't forget when water comes, so that I won't forget, okay, we need to go down the road now. Some of them have to drill my children because I believe that even though I have my four kids, I must be successful. I want to be successful. I don't want to lose out anything. I want to go forward. So I don't have to, like, drill my kids. Like, we haven't... I believe that we have a boot camp home by me because when we wake up in the morning, come on, guys, time to go. Every morning... When I come out my house, I'm out the road yelling at my children, oh, they come on, let's go, let's go, because I want to go. But I'm not going to go forward and leave my children behind. So, you know, the most challenging thing right now for me is school being closed. And I have to take my kids, all three of them, down into the saloon with me. And teach and all these things. That is the most challenging thing right now because that is what really top everything off. So you know, that is why I really trust in the Holy Spirit now to guide me. Everything I do is guidance from the Holy Spirit right now. I have no help. Guidance. Well, <laughs> the, uh, supreme being. Well, I don't know how I come to place you <laughs> today. That's why I'm saying God really working because even if so, you're a woman, if you're a woman, you showing that what they does always say that black people in Trinidad are lazy and they doesn't work. I'm not hearing it here right now. I'm hearing strength. Nah. I'm hearing will and willpower. I'm seeing it in you three. How did you three come to be on tonight? <laughs> Again, this is the will of Almighty God. Yes, that you, you today are speaking the same language. This is like speaking in tongues. Like the Holy Ghost power come down yeah. like a magnet. It moving here and it moving, moving there. there. So, so can we get a little drum, a little short piece? Yeah, man. When we get ready now to go to our brother, Mr. Cooper. You ready? Yes, man. Christ is getting us ready for a great day. Christ is getting us ready for a great day. Christ is getting us ready for a great day. Who will be able to stand? Yes, sir. He does have a clean hands and a pure heart. He does have a clean hands and a pure heart. Oh, 
Pandai yang Pandai And then we are going to go to our brother showing to get some plan. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Joel showing Nikisha that the 2021 budget was just read hmm. as an everyday TNT citizen. Hello. What were the big takeaway of the big budget for each of you? <laughs> well, we're going to start with, with you laughing, you know, it seems like you yeah. you enjoying yourself, so let's go. <laughs> All right. I, I don't have a problem with that. No. I don't want to offend anyone on the live, but to me, as a creative, as an entertainer, there's nothing in the budget for my industry, for the industry that I'm a part of. Oh. So, I have the breakdown in my hand, and there's nothing in the budget for the creatives, for the entertainers in Trinidad and today. No. There's nothing in the budget for tourism. Let me, let me use that word. Because once the borders close, nobody can come in. Hmm. And just to trickle back, I don't want to sound a certain way, but I have to trickle back. Why is I understand that the, the reasoning for shutting down the country I understand that. What, what, what interfered me is we shut down the country for a reason where a lot of people are unemployed presently. Hmm. All right? But now you come and call an election. Hmm. So what you was trying to avoid, now I don't like to talk politics, eh? but what you was trying to avoid by shutting down the country, you call an election, and based on the, the information given to the public, we are in the situation we are now. So then, why you shut down the country? Because, because of the election, the, the, the COVID in Trinidad and Tobago rise when we shut down the country to contain it. But then you call this election, have a lot of people, you shut down the country, have a lot of people unemployed, and then you call the election, the COVID raise up, and then you did our budget. And in the budget, there's nothing for the creatives. No, they promised the creatives an incentive, well, a handout or a fund of 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. Listen, 5,000. Thank God for small mercies. But you approve for this 5,000 about two months ago, and up to this day, half of the creatives, the entertainers, in receive this 5,000. So my question is, when are we going to receive this 5,000? No, that is just... Is it 5,000 per, per month? Well, I was, getting, I, was get, I was getting right there. It's not five, it's a one-time payment of $5,000. Now you tell me. Why is I say thank God for small mercies? It could pay a bill. But $5,000 from March to now, we're going into eight months. You apply for it, it approved, and up to this day, 
half of the creatives, the entertainers in this country, Trinidad and Tobago, have not received that because they're in print features. So my thing is, the budget, and then, hear, hear, hear me out, you're going to, you're going to um, hmm. sell the MP. So then you're taking out the subsidiary on the gas. Hey. You're taking out the subsidiary from the gas in 2021. So it means to say, you take away something from the public here, but then you're actually paying it back here, you know. Oh my Lord. This is how, this is, this is how I look at it. So I take away this and I give you but they don't have to pay this and fact, they don't have to pay this, they don't have to pay this. But <laughs> you're paying it back here. Yes, that gas. Yeah, you're paying it back here. No, I don't like to talk politics. Eh? I don't like oh, to get God. politics, but as one of my favorite, one of my friends has always say, everything involves politics. And I see everything. That, everything involves politics. Whilst I applaud that they, they did a lot for agriculture, whilst I applaud that, I have to be stingy with regards to the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. Nothing yes. was done for that industry. So he keeps selling again. He's selling. He, he's selling out. The, the he's selling out. The, yeah, yeah. They want to sell out. The, MP. My God. Want to sell MP to different people, and if the first people that could get it, the choice to buy it is the people that want to gas stations. And then they're going to take out the subsidiary. So what you're going to do there now, whilst people might laugh and say, well, oh, good, we're saving a little money here. But is you going to pay, whilst from the vehicle I drive, I will pay $250 to fill that. It's going to cost me basically $500 now to fill that tank. And this right. is what you need to look at. So why, why is it telling you, why is it tell you in one hand, we're not going to charge you for this. We're going to take away that from here. But you're going to pay it more later down the road. And for what I am seeing here, we're trying to run this country based on taxing people. You cannot run a country based on taxing people. I don't want to get political. But you cannot run a country based on taxing people. This is madness. And why I say this, why I might sound emotional, having traveled around the world, this country full of, I always had to go back. Why we didn't focus on tourism? Oil and gas was booming, but why we did not focus on tourism also, just as oil and gas? But you know what? No disrespect to sports people. They push things into sports, which is good. But sports don't really bring an income into the country. Hey! They don't really bring an income into the country. Yes, it did for the cricket. It bring a little, a little income. But at the end of the day, when you check culture and you check sports, the culture of Trinidad and Tobago will bring a more income than sports. Yeah, it bring more yeah. people. In. I mean, I don't want a song like I just. I'm a musician. I so never I hear. To, you, I never hear you talk like this. Yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, because you see, why is there are a lot of musicians out here. People do people not hearing our cry. Hmm. I have a lot of musicians friends like myself. This is all we do. And you shut down this country to prevent the COVID from spreading. But then you call election and, and it spread. <laughs> That's right. On the community spread. So then why did you shut down the country? When you could have okay, sit down and the same manner in which you have the the rules and the regulations. Why you didn't do that then? So that all of us could have been working still, just using safety precautions. The next but, silliest thing to me is I sleep in next to my wife. <laughs> and if I and her going in the same vehicle, we have to wear a mask. This is madness. And the reasoning they give doesn't resonate with me. The reasoning they give for wearing a mask with your wife in the vehicle or your family in the vehicle because they cannot tell who pulling bull from who not pulling bull and work in other words applying for hire private vehicle applying for hire which is by law against the law i'm not against anyone trying to make an honest dollar but the law is well the law. well 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 we have to go a little slow because <laughs> miss your brother on the show 
That's his game. No, no, no. That's why, that's why I said I don't want. Just understand where I'm coming from. No offense to no one. But what are you telling me? So because people are breaking the law, the, the, the majority of the public have to suffer because you cannot tell who from who work in taxi or, or, or plan for hire. Because you oh. because the police officers cannot tell, well, okay, no, he with the wife. No, he pulling bull. So everyone had to suffer. Why I should have to wear a mask together with my wife in our vehicle? Well, I think <laughs> I, I I think we could talk for and against there because they don't know who in the car who pulling bull from who and and that's, bull. My point. And, and that's my point. My point is no disrespect to you. But everybody wearing a mask. No, 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 no disrespect to you. No, 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 but no listen. And, and passengers have to wear the mask. No? Yes, yes. Well, listen, listen. Okay, let me go further now. I have a friend that works taxi. He is a legitimate, legitimate taxi driver. He has a taxi badge. He has a taxi vehicle. Do you know, as a taxi driver, you cannot carry a full load of passengers? But the peaker carrying a full load. So it's unfair. No disrespect, eh, Joel. No disrespect. Listen to me. Listen to me. When when Joel spoke to me, he can't carry a full load neither because people have to be six feet apart. And, and no, there is no six feet yet. In a taxi. You're, in, in, a, a in, a, in, in any vehicle, there is in no six vehicle. feet. If you're carrying people, because the driver, you're not six feet away from the person no. in the back seat. No. So all of that there is bull crap. Yes. What because, I am saying. Because that, that shouldn't be no, that shouldn't be no way to, to detect six feet. Because in a motor car, except the person sitting down in your trunk, <laughs> <laughs> except your passengers in your trunk. Yeah. But once you're in that vehicle, there is no six feet for There's anybody. None. There's none. So right now, that we won't even go there because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. You see, all these people who are bringing up rules and laws, they're not understanding that they have to know what they are about. Yeah. So let me hear from, not rushing you because, you know, we do one and a half hours, but we may take this one into two. <laughs> no, no, we, we, we may take this into two, May, because we have things to talk about. And Brother Keaton, you will tell us what were the big takeaway after the big yeah, well, budget? Well, well, I didn't really listen to the budget, but uh, I hear Brother was talking about it with the gas. And, 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 and that will hurt because um, everything is going to go up. Everything. <laughs> Everything goes through food, everything going going right up sky up because remember it's vehicle transporting goods to carry to the grocery, carry to the shop, it's transportation within company and everything. And everything is going up. So I, I tell them on our live, I say, well, all it, enjoy all of the 20 for plenty this year because when come January, it ain't gonna have no 20 for plenty, you know. All them things gonna done because you take away the subsidy from the gas, right? When I if I say I own a gas station and I buy gas at five. I can sell back for 10. You can't tell me what to sell my gas for because remember it's business we do. That right? is so that is the gist of everything. <laughs> yeah. You sell so I can it, sell my gas for one. Nobody to tell me nothing. You're selling it out to private enterprise. Everybody mm -hmm. could charge wherever they want. You could go Maravel yeah. and, and, and pay for pay pay gas and your comfort of and the gas would be different. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, you know, this is what I was talking about to everybody. We did not take time to understand that the PNM of yesterday is the PM, the same PNM of today. And if they jam us hard all these years, what people think will come easy now? That's why I'm saying people were suffering too much for PNM to win this election alone. People not that wicked to themselves. And I will never stop talking about brainwashing. I will never stop talking how they have people running around them like lemmings. Because we had too many people who knew that there wasn't the right party to take the country into the future. That's true. That's true. That's true. 
Too yeah, many young it. people rise up. <laughs> Too many gangs came together to throw PNM out of power. And they couldn't even do it. The minute the gangs and them begin to look for a march or to protest, there we have, there we have Rottweiler, police commissioner. Yeah. Uh, Where is he Pitbull. now? Pitbull. He come and he cripple everything. Yeah. You can't, you, you can't come together, you can't march, you can't do this, you can't protest. And as soon as the election done, Keith Rowley ready now to run him because his, his purpose is over. Yeah. yeah you he doesn't want him anymore. <laughs> because when he get into power, he should have cleaned up parliament. He should yeah, have charged everybody who needed to be charged. Yes. That is why I was saying that yes. my brother Griffith, he was used. And I don't care who want to argue tonight, brother Keith Rowley, you're going to have to pay. You don't use God people like that. We've God give you a, a job. You're supposed to do good for his people. God give me this platform. And I ain't here looking for fame. I ain't here looking for glory. Because all black men does look for money. And I ain't charging a penny. You guys come in on my show. And I rather bless you guys than to receive things and call it blessing. You don't guys don't have to give me no star. You don't guys don't have to give me no small money. And I give you a bank account. God didn't give me a bank book. And God didn't give me a, a, a credit card or no card. So I don't have to ask none of you for anything because you know what? Lord, prepare me to be his sanctuary. You're an old eh? Beat that drum, brother. Beat that drum. Come and try with us, give it. I'll be your baby. Hold up, hold up. The reason why I'm gonna stop, you see, Sister Nakisha, you're not in the same space where brother Joel is so none of us can sing when he's playing because he hears it after you or before you and it will throw off the drum and people wouldn't understand okay so we have to stay quiet including everybody so we have to let him just play that one verse and then we're going to move to you then to brother Joel for his plan Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. You're an holy, tried and true. It must be I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Sister Nakisha, you have a song, you have a word. Let's hear your word. We hear your song. What's going on with you? What, 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 what the budget did to you? You see any advancement for you besides this, um, uh, this money to help the kids to get, to get laptops or whatever they're going to give them, but, but you guys don't have good internet service? Let's talk to you a little. Tell us. What's your no, take on My the life budget? is totally... I think what, what has happened is that my life has been totally exempt from the government and whatever they're doing. I don't involve in it at all. Strictly <laughs> Holy Ghost. Strictly. Strictly Holy Ghost. I really and truly don't even, I didn't even think when the budget was reading out, I think I was on work, working really hard to make my ends meet. So I think that was what it was about with me. I have I don't even have a clue what they say from what they didn't say. No matter of fact, I've heard too much to sit and listen to them anymore. To tell you the truth. Oh, that's deep. That's deep. Yeah. Straight a long in. time ago. A long time ago. A long time ago. So so you you receive any information? How hurt you will be as a single mom because of the budget? You ain't listened to nothing at all, no one? Was there anything you heard? I think all the years governments come in and go. 
every government that ever came in and go never had an effect on my life. Never. Not in my a good finger way is or not bad stained. way. In a good way or a bad way? Not they have never, never. <laughs> ever since I know myself, nothing, nothing, nothing. Good, bad, and different. Government came, government go. Same life. Same life. So I don't partake. No. And so I don't... need to talk to anybody. I think I, I think once I was in a situation where a, a minister came to my community, I was doing a prison worship dance. And after we performed, he stood up, he put his chest up high and he called me. And I went to him and he said, what would you like me to do with you and your family? And I said, right now we are living with no electricity in our house. Our house is dark. Hey. I have four kids. And he said, come, come to the office and I'll speak to you. And he never answered his phone up to this day. He no. never spoke to me after that day. You know, so government to me, after that, I don't think I ever went that way. Not even to collect, even to have to collect a food card. I think in the pandemic, the teacher called and said he was going to organize for a food card for Emmanuel. And he said he's gonna call back. And then he said that all then he said that all we would have to go into the government office. And I said if it's COVID and all these people lining up to go for the food card, then something wrong some way. Because the mm. same no social distancing and you have to go there and stand up and wait in a long night. So I didn't go. I didn't go. <laughs> I didn't go. Wow. That is another part. That is a part of my life that has been exempted from my life, government. Oh, sorry to say. Sorry to say. Wow, wow. Mm. That that doesn't sound good. But no, I was. To, I I believe that it might sound. It might probably I maybe need to get. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't I'm think not I need saying. To get. I reach. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not saying that think, you, I, you, yeah. you shouldn't say it. But it's very painful. That is very mm -hmm. sad. That is very sad for a, a, a mother of a, a single mom, to be exact, to be more dramatic. Yeah. Should sit down in public now and say words like this. This is an indictment huh. onto the government that nobody ever, you haven't received anything from anyone. No, I've never taken them serious. I Every time I look at the news and I look at at our government's behavior, I'm totally disgusted. And I don't mm. mention it because it mightn't sound nice. I'm totally disgusted by their conversations. And I'm saying while I'm in my community talking to normal average people, we have better conversations than the leaders of our country. I don't even go there. Oh boy. Because these are the people that we put to represent. And I can't see how somebody will go and study for all these years to come on public national television and speak what they speak. I don't understand it. I I don't understand it. So like I op, like the opening up of schools. <laughs> are you are, are you in agreement for the opening up of schools before the kids are ready? Before the kids are ready. Um I don't understand what you mean before the kids are ready. With computers and with laptops, and then you open school, and that's the demand. School shouldn't be open until until all the kids get what they're supposed to have first. Sure. You can open and then I really, them. I really believe that that is one of the most craziest things. I'm being honest. It's one of the most craziest things. I had an incident where it might sound bad. But is it true? My son had a teacher that had her hand in her chest. And she was rubbing her, her, her hands was in her chest and she was rubbing on top. And I was like, what is this? What who sons is this? You know, so there's a lot of ah. things that I have been seeing. And to be honest, I don't know if it's just me or I don't think this makes any sense. I'm seeing teachers speaking to blank 
blank wall and calling the children name or even now what i've noticed they start to do if the ch child's screen is blank they will put the child's name on the screen so that teacher will know who to call but how does that really impact a child educational life when you mm. speak into a blank screen and just waiting for a voice that child could be in the bathroom that child could be that child could be anywhere and i'm seeing that even with my kids so i think that something should really be put into play i can't deal with it cora i'm mama coco mama I, coco. I cannot deal with it mama coco yeah <laughs> i i really cannot deal with it i'm trusting that god gave me the wisdom so what i do with my kids is that i teach my kids the way of the lord for now until this thing come to a settlement of what they really want to do because i'm not going to take my kids into the process where every week things changes every time somebody come and make a a speech they change everything so my children would be like, one week we're doing it this way, the next week we're doing it. Way. That is confusing. That Boy. is confusing, these children. These children are too young for that. So I teach them the way of the Lord. And when I realize that things are under control, then I'm going to come in and try to figure this thing out. I can't, I can't do it. It's too but, much for me as a single mother. But would you be following the curriculum? Or you... Yes, would I contrary. would. Well, yes, I would. Well, I have to say thanks to, well, you know what. But I would still let my children do what they have to do. I let them do the schoolwork and everything. But I'm looking at my daughter. My daughter would take like all day to do the work. And I'm saying mm -hmm. if she was in school, it would not have been like that. So I would have to, I can't sit with her. I can't sit with Emmanuel and I can't sit with my son. So I'm at a point where I do not know what to do. And I think that being an entrepreneur and being well educated and I'm feeling like this, what, what about another mother that is uneducated that maybe mm. even have five or six children? So I'm, God, this is bad. This is really bad. It's really, really oh my bad. God. People that are privileged could speak. But people that are underprivileged, they can't say nothing right now. They need Christ. Because that is the only way out. That's all we wow. need. That's the only way out. That's as much as I could say. We need God. We need God. Because they said in 2000, this system would have failed. Everything was going to crash. It did crash. And people are not coming to the realization that it did crash. So what we are doing is just fooling ourselves, thinking that we could cope with what's taking place. This is actually prophecy being fulfilled. There's nothing we can do. I, 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 I believe that, the, that this government is showing, showing a high form of abuse. Yes, they, they, they are abusing people. So God doesn't keep us being abused, you know, because Jesus said he come not for the righteous man and he came for the sinners unto repentance. So if we suffering down here, we have to reach out to God for a change. That is why it was imperative that the People's National Movement, a party that I was a part of until for the past three, three for the past four years, they should have been voted out. And I cannot see why Dr. Keith Rowley is feeling so proud to be the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago while people suffering so much. I can't see why he has to feel that he won and, and people had to behave victorious when the system gets worse after the election. Everything worsened. I really don't know. And I don't know where Trinidad would be. In, in 2021. I really don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another question for you. What are your individual plans? You know, you know, I, I want to ask this question. Something telling me that I, I am going to go to Brother Cooper. 
play us a song. I didn't ask you guys to play nothing for me. Whatever you have to play, my brother, bring it on. See, all I do is to, all I do is to create enemies in the government. A lot of people hating upon me, including Prime Minister. But, you, but you're not telling the people that is all my plans you're using now to make the country look and smell good. It's everything I talk about that they're using right now. I ain't going through this on this live tonight. I'm sorry.
that's not well done, man. Well done. Awesome, awesome. Jam it yeah, on yeah. them. You see, this is all of this we are missing in our hotels because uh -huh. people can't go out and play in a wedding. Yeah. People can't get yeah. to do anything. And 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 and, and th these are the things that the government taking for granted. They're I not setting that. up anything. They're not setting up anything. They don't have to no plan. promote. No plan. <laughs> they don't have a plan. They just day. <laughs> they, they just they just selling out every 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 PNM wrong yeah, in the care. government. They sell out something that God gave the nation. So, so we don't have any oil now. We don't, don't we don't people. own anything. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Everything gone. Everything gone. Let us have our next question, which we, which may be our last question. Can I share a thought first, please? Oh, sure. We have a finger up. Okay, yeah, I, would like to share, I would like to just share a thought. Yes. Um, the government decided to give... I just want to hear people hear my thoughts, right? This is just my yes. thought. Yes, bring it on. Bring the it government on. government decided to give... Hold on one minute. As long as what you're saying wouldn't jeopardize anything for no, you. No, 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 no. It's just my thoughts. Because, yeah, it's your thoughts, but they don't want that, you know. No, People it, uh, get jeopardized for learn, everything. No, but they could learn something from it, eh? Well, <laughs> well, run it, run it. They could learn something from it. This is just my thoughts and uh, uh, a few of my friends thinking. The government decided to give the population bulbs. LED bulbs. Oh, 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 LED, oh, oh, bulbs. The LED bulbs, which will reduce the electricity. Yes. Which costs over a million dollars right to supply the country each household with four bulbs it might sound good but my thinking is how they advise the public to start to use led bulbs and take that same over a million dollars and interdict and put that money and subsidize the internet for the for people homes subsidize yes. the people home and take some of that same money and purchase um, tablets, what could be converted into laptops, I think it would have made more sense. Hmm. That's just my thoughts. We, we supply in the country with bulbs. Yes, it's needed. But the four people bulbs... Can, people, can, people can buy a bulb. Buy it's, just a, it's just about 120 for four bulbs, LED hey, bulbs. Hey. You advise the public to purchase LED bulbs and they take that over a million dollars that they buy in these bulbs, and they take that same money and they subsidize the internet service with four people, and you take some of that same money and they purchase iPad or, or, or tablets or laptops for children in need. That's just my thoughts. That, that, that to me, is a personal thought. That's a way forward. But there is, and, and, and brother, you, 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 you have and a brilliant idea. But, the but question is, who got the contract to supply these bulbs? I mean, I don't want to go down that road, but it, it makes you wonder. Yes, yes. Who, who getting something from buying all these bulbs? Who, who supplying these bulbs? That's just my thoughts. I just need you to see, get out. You see, why I have to say it's a brilliant thought that you have. But just imagine the prime minister vehicle is a million dollar plus. So a million dollar can't do really much while they nice and, nice while much. Using, they use it much but while they're selling the gas station for billions of dollars i really cannot yes not the poor man the poor man can't even yeah, buy the money. gas <laughs> <laughs> so that's not sure yeah that's not sure that it's it, it just about getting rich richer that is all and, and I, just like that, but I just wanted to share my thoughts. Well, your yeah. thoughts so deep that yeah. you're really bringing confusion now in my head. Yeah. But the prime minister vehicle is more than a million dollars. Yeah. Like, they don't come to oppress people where there's oppressors, but they oppress yeah. any poor people. We can't rise at all. I know they can't even left. talk. They ain't helping. Think about all these men that put money in pocket like Gina, Sammy, and all of them. Oh, I ain't seen them contributing nothing towards this. Um, laptop and all these things, and this may make millions of dollars for every government that come in power. Every Junior Sami Kosa, all of them make millions. They're always pitching road. You know, not two dollars, 
It's millions they're making up to the highway to do this here today, where they put it to my crew up and to change it. I, I ain't seen these fellas and I'm coming out and contributing nothing. I hear them talking nothing. So 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 the poor the poor they started to remain poor. Yes. Yeah, they nothing pay so they're doing nothing for me. They're coming on the, 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 the news, they're talking. I said that big words they're using. But when they're talking, you have a dictionary, you gotta break it down because you know what you really say. You gotta use that, so that big word and make it fancy and nice. But really and truly, they don't really care about nobody. All they care about is themselves. Watch out, the, 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 the um, in birth. They do the, he just be laughing when he's talking and, 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 and calling out things, laughing. Because you know that in 50 pocket, he ain't gonna go through nothing. He don't have to go through nothing. My God. Them, them, bread, them bread butter, them don't have to study nothing. Nope. They have nothing to worry about. Is we are everything to worry about. We have to study with the next bread coming, with the next meal coming. How you gonna feed them, train on them? How you gonna do this? How you paying this bill? We, is we had to study that. Them don't, them don't have to study them thing, so they can laugh and get kicks. And so, My so, God. So, so, so they just like the comedians and them, they're the comedians. They just date a mama guy, the people. Yes. They were doing it now, mama guy and we. Really and truly, they don't, Watch me, I really want, I vote PNM, eh? I vote any every government that really come into power. I vote UNC, I vote NAR, and I vote Kamala, thinking well, you know, well, but she didn't do what she was supposed to do, but people only voted PNM because, you know, well, who we go put by? And, 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 and look, PNM here for 40, how much years? Them had real, real, real oil was running here. How much, how much, um, it had a time, Ramesh said that so much money in the, in the treasury that everybody can get a million and live and they can steal and they still have more to run the country. We all them thing gone. Why, why should that reach this place? Mismanagement, mismanage the, the, the resources, the mismanaging resources. And who had to pay for it? Poor people. Because everything now going up. We had to pay this. We had to pay that. It's we, uh, it's we, it's we. You understand? No, no. You, 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 they catch your pack up in a wrong place, four points of your license. When you reach a certain amount, that is a day. And normally you used to have like two and a half months of pay. Now it's one month you have. After that, it's going up. Wow. And going up. I have a, I have a ticket that I get if for a seat belly. And I, I can pay. Me and the money, where am I going to get the money to? I ain't going to steal. I ain't no. going to do that. I ain't going to do that. We are going to get the money to pay. But right now, we don't going up already. So. I just going, I just taking it one letter at thanks to Jesus because I know he, he is my provider and I thank him for everybody that he, he bring in my life to contribute in my life in living. Yeah. They realize it is, they don't care, they don't care. It is it's proven, it's showing. They don't oh, care. Yo, boy. Government. Government, I like. And I ain't seen a government that rise up to say, well, they can take the mantle and really take the country forward or whatever. I ain't seen that. I ain't seen that. But PNM had a real good opportunity to make things right in this place and make here's supposed to be a little Dubai boy. It's supposed to be a little Dubai with an oil-based country boy. We supposed to have it night. Thank God um the um the honorable DCs pop some buildings in there. Because if he didn't do that, what would happen with all the oil we have here? You mean Patrick Manning? Yeah, if thank God he pop them building and then because it's who was making money off of them is the one percent, you know. Because when you had to rent a building for how much million? Imagine you renting a building, a simple old building for millions. You understand that they're really making no sense. A building for millions? I mean, when they're renting them, it's billions and millions of dollars, you know? Yeah, at the end of the year. But, but man, in, man in a division, and you see, you see that, that we pop them buildings. So now you could go in one place and get plenty of ministries there. You know how to run here, run there, run there, run down St. James to get this. You had to run down here. You, to, you could go in one place and get everything. Everything, yeah. Yeah. yeah, one area you could go down and get everything going for, for, for Patrick Manning because he wasn't for he. They would never build nothing, they would have never do nothing. They don't care about the poor people, the government and them don't care. The only exactly. mama guy people write you every year when it's time for election, the real sweet talk they're coming wrong, they're making it and chaining me up. We have to come together as a people, boy. We have to come together as a people. It's a hand and do with no race. We have to come together as a the people. The force, the force had to be broken. Yes. To come together. Yes. The overdoing it. We are allowing them to go in, in, into parliament and doing what they want. They doing what they want and they're not being accountable for it. They're stealing. They do not. It, it is alleged. They're stealing. They do all kind of thing. And how nobody much, making jail. How much nobody of making building? jail. How much of Ferris <laughs> building? Me, 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 only price. It's 20 million, I think they um yes, 20 million yeah. a day. Yeah. They're going in, they're going in the normal poor and and, and, they're, and they're living like millionaires, billionaires <laughs> they're living like you understand? They're going in poor 
Yeah, I know, I know, I know, Mr. Yeah. I know, Mr. Heinz, when he's, I used to sell on the street, he used to buy bananas, sell fake for me. I went to him with a girl in Levantine and I explained where you know me from and one I wanna. He tell me, I, I can't help you, you gotta go over and move aside. And you use a government minister, we tell him where you can't help me. Tell me, tell me. We tell him where you can't help me. It doesn't matter. You can take up your phone and go, hey, I sent yeah. a man who I had the last thing for him there. Or he self could do it. We tell him where you can't do it. So you not so, so you not walking? No, I'll be home. When, I, when my wife finished book five o'clock, why you know what to do? Wait out there. Ah, boy. Everybody, remember, remember, plenty of people not working, you know? So, plenty of people not working, all the casinos and all of them, them home. Oh, yeah. So nobody them to home. drive, nobody to pick we, up. Who, who you going to pick up, ghost? You got to put, you got to get a car and, and, and carry cars. Get a whole lot of money, road. everybody driving now. So in a sense, so in a sense, whatever money you make is for gas, is that? Whatever money I make is to buy food <laughs> and, and, and try to put gas in the car to keep it going. Yes. And if the car call for something, I had to pay ton money and that and all too. Oh, Let me tell you how, 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 how dread thing is with me. Imagine I, I sell blood. <laughs> I sell my blood yesterday. I, oh gosh. You understand? Just to make sure I pay a bill. Get somebody come to me and they tell me, how much you want? I just make a bluff. I say I have 500. It's all right, okay. I say, I was so glad for the money. As I get it, it just to pay the man for the car. And I take 200 and I end up going with the train and we went to a funeral, right? And yes. there was a good virgin that died. And I went and, and, and they show my face to give the wife that support. So we ain't going to talk more about that because that might be legal, you know? So, so we're not going to go into that. Because well, you, know, everything, really, yeah. you know, everything in Trinidad is, is, is illegal for the small man. Two yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, laws. Yeah. Laws for the yeah. rich and laws against the poor. You understand uh, me? So um, so we we are going to have another question here. People saying, oh my God, people, people tuning in, people there, people watching, people listening. This is why I bring these people here so that so that the, the plight of the poor man can be heard. And we still have poorer people that we will be hearing from another day. This is painful, my people. This is not no walk in the park. So this is the plight of the everyday man. The man that have family. Talk to Winston, tell him to come off what he's doing. My internet kind of sticking and no one happening here, you know. People go want to jam in. Yeah, the jam in. Yeah, the jam in. Yeah. The jam in. Yeah. So we have another <laughs> question. 